Amen. I'm going to tell you in advance, this is a opener. Amen. This is setting the stage. Matthew chapter 28 and verse, I'm going to start in our opening this morning, this afternoon. I started at 18, but I'm going to go up one to verse 16. It's the last words in Matthew's gospel. It says in verse 16 of chapter 28, and I'm reading out of the New uh, International Version. Then the 11 disciples went to Galilee to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshiped him. But some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. I love God's word. I love God's word. If you just pray with me just for a moment. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Speak, Lord, for your children are listening. Amen. Amen. In a day where folks are following everything and everybody, folks ask all the time, are you following so-and-so? <laughs> uh, folks get excited because a thousand folks are following me on Instagram. Five thousand on Instagram. Uh, 10,000 on Twitter. Folks are pushing, trying to get folks to follow me. Yeah. Are you following me? I was at school the other day and one of uh, our, our teachers came in and she was talking about uh, the books she's reading and uh, uh, the, the people uh, she's listening to and watching. She said, I followed this girl on Facebook and the more she talked, the more she talked. I said, you know, I think you're following my daughter. <laughs> Why? Because that's what the trend of the day is. Following after whoever. Folks are following. People want followers. Uh, everybody that, that we're connected to, whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, uh, now I can't say Twitter. I keep trying to get the X and now it's X. It ain't Twitter anymore. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, X, Instagram, uh, uh, Snapchat, all of these things. Uh, people are trying to get what? Followers. Uh, people will tell you at the end of their video, if you're not following me, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button if you own YouTube. Go ahead and, and throw a comment in there. Why? Because I'm trying to get my followers up. The goal for, for many folks that, that I, I've seen in the past is oh, when they get to 100,000 followers, are oh, we doing something? 100,000 followers. Some folks have gotten up to millions of followers. Why? Because this is the day, this is the time, this is the season where people are making a, a it is the push to get other people to follow them. Somebody say followers, followers. Uh, uh, why? Because years ago, uh, uh, Bishop uh, Joel, we used to try to get folks to want to be leaders. Uh, and now we're getting folks to be followers, right? Uh, we, we can't find any leaders. Everybody's trying to be followers. Everybody, it, the big thing is to be a follower. And even the leaders that would be leaders can't lead because they're too busy. Oh, you got it. Too busy following. Too busy following. We can't, we can't find leaders now because all the leaders are following everybody else. And uh, so today we are in a day where God is saying to us, uh, uh, who are we going to really 
are you follow? What who are you following? God is checking us based on who in fact we're following. Are we following folks or are we following Christ? So this message is just the kickoff to what will be a teaching series and a discipleship course that I'm going to be kicking off uh, within our church and with folks that want to come alongside to learn and to push forward in being what? Disciples of Christ. Disciples of Christ. Why? Because we found out that we have a lot of church goers, but very few disciples. Very few disciples. We got a lot of folks that's following folks to church. But let me just tell you, just because you follow or you come to church doesn't mean we are being what? Disciples. Our goal as leaders, as preachers and teachers of the gospel is to cause people to become not followers of us. And see, that's the thing we've done a good job uh, many times, even in church, is getting people to follow us. But what happens is uh, when, when, the, when the leader or the person, the charismatic figure they're following, when they stumble then we're in trouble. Or when they pass off the scene, then we're in trouble. I saw for, with my own eyes when pastors, and some of y'all can attest to this, when a pastor died that folks have been following, catch it, for years, when that pastor died, so many folks stopped coming to church because Bishop died. Because mama, uh, uh, mama Bishop died. Because this one died. Uh, I saw it with my own eyes years ago. I never they could imagine that I would hear people say uh, that they don't come to church anymore because their pastor passed. Which told me that people were not discipled. They were followers. They were not followers of Christ. They were followers of people. They were followers of the pastor. And so our job is to move us to the next level. And, and to get people to understand the power of discipleship. Somebody say discipleship. The power of discipleship says that we are being followers of Christ. Our goal is to get uh, those who will become those who will follow after Christ. Why? Because Christ is the reason why we are where and who we are. It is because of Christ that we live. Matter of fact, I grew up in a church, uh, and many of you did, and uh, 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 Reverend, uh, he sang about those old traditional songs that we remember, uh, uh, but I remember uh, uh, growing up, up in the church, and, and I should have whispered in his ear and told him to sing this one for me, but, but I grew up, they, they would sing this song, to be like Jesus, to be like Jesus, Oh, how I long to be like him. So meek and lowly, so humble and holy. Oh, how I long to be like him. To walk like Jesus. To walk like Jesus. Oh, how I long to walk like him. So meek and lowly. So humble and holy, said, oh, how I long to be like him. See, y'all, folks that know about that, they start clapping. They, they, know the, they know the beat. They know, they know where to come in. Why? Because we've been busy following Jesus. So when you grew up like that, understanding that the goal was not to be like pastor, it was to be like Jesus. Uh, how I long and see they sang those songs uh, uh, Lady Crystal because they want us to get confused Woo! Yeah. trying to mess with me early they didn't want us to get confused about who we were supposed to be following so they would make sure they understood and sang songs that told us to be like Jesus oh how I long to be like him uh, let me just get I, I, I know I'm skipping a 
across the field. Uh, but let me just go to, I was saving this for the end, but that took me to this hymn. And the more I thought about this hymn this morning, uh, I began to just get happy all in my soul. Because I learned it as a kid that said, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning. I feel like I'm daddy now. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. But check out the second verse. It ain't but three. Check out the second verse. Though none, though no one join me, still I will follow. Though no one join me, still I will follow. Though no one join me, still I will follow. No turning back. No turning See, that tells you that I Jesus. 
Tell somebody I'm going to lose something along the way. Because everybody came forward this way. They went to Galilee, the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him worship, they worshiped him. Oh, here it is. Here it is. But some doubted. Tell somebody, some doubted. Some doubted. Some doubted. Some of them doubted. That means we're going to lose some, and some ain't going to believe you. Tell somebody, right, we might lose some, and then some might not even believe you. They're going to doubt it. Why? They were doubting. They worship him, but some doubt it. So notice we're only talking about the 11. And even in that 11, you still had some that were still doubting. But I'm here to tell you, it may be rough, it may be tough, but I'm not doubting about the way. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not doubting about the way. What is it? Holiness is right. Walking in the light. I'm not doubting about the way. I just had to drop that. This, this, this Holy Spirit revelation, it ain't my notes. I, I just went, when it's in you, it's just in you. Why? Because I'm following Christ. Yes. Tell somebody I'm not doubting about the way. This, this way, I, I, I'm here to tell you, we are in a season where folks are learning and learning. Oh my God, they got every book, they got every resource, they are forever learning, but you don't have a lot of folks coming to the knowledge of the truth where they are not doubting about the way. I, I'm saying to myself today, in many groups, I'm asking folks, well, what is the end goal with all of this information you got? What is the point? You got all of this information. You got all of this knowledge, but you have no foundational truth about anything. Just got a lot of information. No stable, no firm foundation on anything. Just a lot of information. Tell somebody that's a tough place to be in. That's a tough place. A lot of information, but no foundation. A lot of information. See, I love learning. Trust me, I, I'm not one of those who say don't learn. No, I'm a lifelong learner, but I learn on top of the foundation. What firm a foundation? It is the foundation that is Christ the Lord. Somebody said that's our foundation. Discipleship number two. Discipleship uh, uh, for a disciple. Uh, to understand discipleship, you must understand that it is about making as Jesus told us. Why? Somebody might ask, why discipleship? Because Jesus told us to go and make disciples. If you understand even the word make in the NIV, uh, the word make is not an easy process. He didn't say go and get disciples. Disciples have to be made. They are not easily found. They have to be made. Somebody said, got to make them. Why? Because discipleship is a process. You make a cake. Those that are real cake bakers, even if you're using a, a, a box cake, you still got to make it. Still got to make it. Why? Because we understand it is a process. Disciples must be made. Who is a disciple? It is someone who believes in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Not only that, but they are intentionally learners of Christ and strive to live more like Christ. Tell somebody, it's striving. It is a work. It is not an easy process. Every day I'm running, trying to make a hundred. Ninety-nine and a half won't do. Ninety-nine and a half. I'm running. It's a striving. It's a work. It's a process. It is where I'm trying to work out my own salvation. With fear and trembling. Do so good. But what I've learned is uh, you can't judge it by the perfection days. Why? Because that's just an answer to the divinity that lies within us. But the days that I mess up is a reminder that I'm dealing with humanity.
humanity. So it's those is understanding that we are making disciples based on the first work, and that is coming to the knowledge of Jesus Christ and confessing that Christ as our Lord and Savior. You say, well, break that down for me, preacher. Help me. Uh, uh, can, you, can you give me some terms that, that are not theological? Uh, yeah, I give it to you like this. They got to get saved. You got to get saved. You got to get saved. Uh, some folks are wondering, huh? what does that mean? Just get, we got to get saved. You got to get you saved. Somebody say saved, saved, saved. Uh, what is that? That means we have confessed Jesus as Lord. We believe that Christ is the Christ. We're not talking about folks that study Christ. There is a difference from folks who study Christ and those of us who confess and believe the Christ. I grew up, uh, uh, came up uh, around many people who understood this. Uh, but when we went to school, many of us know this for a fact. You know it for a fact. Uh, especially if you went to schools of theology and religion, uh, you understand that there are a whole lot of folks that understand. And I never heard this word till I was doing my undergrad in religion, the, the historical Jesus. There are a lot of folks who know a lot about the historical Jesus. That is the one, the man from Galilee. But those same folks don't believe in the Christ. To know the history or the historical Jesus is different from confessing Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So don't get caught up just because folks know a lot about the historical Jesus. But I know a man from, from Galilee. If you're in sin, he'll set you free. Tell somebody, he's the man, he's the man, he's the man. Uh, I'm talking about Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. It's the Jesus that we've got to know. Somebody say Jesus. It's the Jesus that saved me from a miserable life of sin. I don't care how cute your sin life was. It was still miserable. Uh, because I was sinking deep in sin. Far from a peaceful shore. Very deeply. Staying within. Seeking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. And from the waters... Uh, Lifted me, not safe and I. Love, love, love lifted me. We talking about Jesus, Jesus, the man from Galilee. Jesus hung on that cross. Jesus never said. They say a mumbling word, but we know that he said a lot. He said, forgive them, for they know not what they do. That same Jesus, uh, somebody say, that same Jesus. Jesus washed me. Jesus uh, cleansed me. Jesus uh, picked me up, turned me around, placed my feet on a solid ground. I'm talking about Jesus. When I got saved, it wasn't enough. <laughs> Just to confess and believe that made us get out on our knees. And we had to cry, Jesus. It wasn't just Jesus. It was G G G G G G G G G G G G G Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Then they said, you can't just stop that. You got to say, save me, Lord. Save me, Lord. Save me, save me, save me, save me. Say the Lord, 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 say the Lord,
of commission. God, forgive me for the sins of omission. God, forgive me. Save me till my hands look new. Save me till my feet do too. Wash my mind. Cleanse me. The song that said, purge me with this. That ain't a good thing. Closely. 